small falcon called a merlin flies to a lure at a new school for would-be falconers at Newant in Gloucestershire. Schoolmaster at this unusual college is well-known British falconer Philip Glazier. Just now, amongst his other pupils, Mr Glazier has a couple of naval petty officers, Andrew White and Keith Maycock. The sailors are on the course because the Navy finds hawks invaluable in keeping airfields free from gulls. The birds of prey wear hoods before hunting to prevent them getting too excited. A falconer's knot comes in useful when you've only one hand free, demonstrated by Philip Glazier. Another stage in the training of pupils and hawks, inducing the wild bird to come to the wrist for a piece of raw beef. All the raptors or hunting birds like to keep clean, and the bath's an enjoyable ritual. This is our friend Merlin again. The game here is for Merlin to catch the titbit on the end of Philip Glazier's lure while flying free. Even when hunting, the bird still wears its bells and jessies, small leather thongs on the legs by which it can be held. At Newant, Mr. Glazier's offering courses for beginners and for people who already own a falcon and seek professional advice. This is the modern expression of the falconer's art, but it's very ancient. Falconry, or hawking as it's sometimes called, has been traced back in recorded time for 4,000 years. 